where there where Purdue lives. Mm -hmm. It could see some storms a little bit later on this morning with mm -hmm. this complex of storms that we're seeing here already pushing into northern Indiana. We have the potential of some severe thunderstorms and taking a look right now at radar. You can see over the past couple of hours we started to see this complex of storms developing really running into some great dynamics here. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch that's in effect until 11 o'clock for northwestern Indiana. But what we're watching out for right now is this strong complex of storms moving into Marshall County here. You can see those bright pinks that's depicting the large hail. We have had golf ball size hail being reported out of this complex of storms, damaging winds, especially on the leading edge over 58 miles per hour. So all of this is going to be gradually sliding to the southeast. It's moving about 25 miles per hour, so will eventually make its way into northern Miami County here in the next two hours. Here's a look at the winds. We have them out of the south and temperatures are still very mild this morning in the low to mid 70s and that wind out of the south is going to keep us very warm and muggy today. We're going to see those dew points moistening up. It is going to be very humid this afternoon. Heat advisory in effect for Indianapolis points to the south. That's from 1 until 8 p.m. Heat indices will be in the upper 90s, close to 100 degrees. Here's a look at our severe outlook. It is in that low category. That means that we could see an isolated severe storm today. And again, damaging winds, large hail will be the main threats out of these storms today. So let's take a look here at future track as we go hour by hour. This complex of storms is going to continue to slide east southeast. So it's really going to be hitting most of east central, northeast central Indiana. So that's where we're going to be watching out for. This is at 2 o'clock this afternoon. We could still see some of these storms on radar pushing through, and then a lot of this will start to die down. The areas that have the rain won't be quite as hot today because it will be evaporated um, rain cooling there going on, but most areas are just going to be plain hot and dry. We'll see temperatures climbing to 94 degrees later this afternoon. Heat indices in those upper 90s to 100 degrees. We'll see the clouds clearing out a bit too to sunshine this afternoon. Tonight, the Indians host St. Paul. It's going to be a great night for the Marvel Super Night and uh, temperatures will be in the 80s throughout the game tonight. So it is going to be a hot one at Victory Field. Tonight into tomorrow, we should stay quiet and dry, but it is going to be muggy. Temperatures are only going to fall into the mid to upper 70s. First thing in the morning, we're forecasting a low around 79 degrees in Indianapolis, 76 in Columbus, and we are going to be under a risk of severe weather again for tomorrow. A little higher risk. It does include all of central Indiana under that number two category, and we'll keep damaging winds and large hail on the table for tomorrow. So let's take a look here as we go into Sunday morning. Think that'll be mainly quiet into the afternoon, though. That's when we're going to start to see some of these storms developing. North central Indiana, and then a line of storms will start to push in after four o'clock in the afternoon. Some of these storms could be strong to severe. So this will continue to move across the area tomorrow night. And then even into early Monday morning, we'll start to see this moving on out and things will start to improve. Although we're going to see several chances of rain next week. Temperatures as we go into today and tomorrow in those low to mid 90s feels like temperatures in the triple digits. Be weather aware as we do have storm chances today and tomorrow that could be severe.